Hello, this video is a brief overview of In the Bag Shopping List, the new shopping list program for Android. We start off by adding items to our list. You can see that we could key in a, an item name, but instead we'll push the microphone button and simply speak some items. Apples, bananas, milk, milk, eggs, stop. So now we have some items on our list. All these items are among the hundred items that come preloaded with in the bag shopping list. So they simply appeared on the list as I said them. Note that I have a quantity of two milks because I said milk twice. I can also change the quantity by long tapping an item and then just pick the quantity. So far our list has grocery items on it, but we can put anything we need to buy on our list. Let's say I need to get a bar Barbie for my daughter for Christmas. This time I'll use the keypad. I have swipe set up. And there's a Barbie. And now, since Barbie isn't one of the preloaded items, it's asking me for a department. A department is just an area of the store where you will find the item. Later, we'll put our list in the right order by ordering the departments to match our preferred path through each store. Barbie would be in the toy department. <clears throat> so now let's set up a store. Let's say we're going uh, maybe Kroger. As you can see, we've got a list of all the departments the system knows about. And I can select and deselect them. Initially, they're all selected. And I actually don't recommend you spend a whole lot of time deselecting departments because there's actually an easier way to kind of do it as you're looking at your list here in a minute. So I'm just going to save that as is. And now we're looking at our list for Kroger. Since we selected all the departments, we're seeing everything we put on our list earlier. And I don't think Kroger is going to have toys, so we need to um, remove that department. And to do that, you just kind of flick it off the screen. So you just kind of grab a hold of it, and grab a hold of the uh, department name, and then you just wipe it off the screen. And it's gone. And we can sort the departments to match the order we go through the store. Let's say we go to the produce section first, so we'll just drag that up here. And then maybe we go to the dairy section last. So now we've got our list in the right order. And this um, order will be remembered anytime I go to Kroger in the future. And we can specify a completely different order of the departments for other stores. So now we're all set to go to Kroger and get our items. As we get the items, we'll mark them off our list. Just, just sliding the finger across the item. Like that. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, uh, one other nice feature is the ability to email your list. So let's say that I'm going to ask my spouse to go to Kroger for me. I can just um, use the email this list menu item and um, and then now I've got an email with the list in the right order. And there you have it. Uh, so in just a couple of minutes, we were able to make our list and get everything set to go on a trip to the store. Uh, I would encourage you to check out this app for yourself. It's available on the Android market. It's $2.99. Let us know what you think. Our website is www.jdrcomputing.com. Thanks.